I was in a show, entertainment, what have you, recently, in which I was invited to try and get through a number called The Nightingale Sang in Berkeley Square. But everybody knows, and I was a little uncertain about it, about doing it, because I don't sing, as you'll hear later. Uh, and I happened to be in Berkeley Square one day, sometime last year, whenever that was. When was last year? I don't know. And I thought, well, here we are. This is what it's all about. And I sat there and I looked up in the trees where that bird might have been some time ago, in 1939 or 40. I don't suppose he's there now. And uh, as I looked up, within 30 seconds, some naughty starling had left something really rather unpleasing on my left shoulder, so I got up and left. Anyway, here's a song. That's what it's called. A Nightingale Sang in Parker Square. When two lovers meet in London, so the legends tell, songbirds sing. Winter turns to spring. Every winding street in London falls beneath the spell. I know such enchantment can be, because it happened one evening to me. That certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air. There were angels dining at the Ritz, and a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. I may be right, I may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing to swear that as she turned and smiled at me, her nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. The moon that lingered over London town Poor Puzzle Moon, he wore a frown. But how was he to know we two were so in love? The whole darn world was upside down. The streets of town were paved with stars. It was such a romantic affair. And as we kissed and said good night, a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. I know, because I was there. That night, that night, in Berkeley Square.